Hey guys, Merry Christmas and welcome to day 12 of my 12 days of Christmas. This is the final day and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas and spending lots of time with friends and family. Um, enjoying your holiday. So today's tutorial is on this tumbler. I just thought I needed to do a tumbler for, for those of you that are just Christmas fans. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the ones that like decorate for Christmas super early, they buy Christmas stuff all year long and it's just like their thing. You know what I'm talking about? I think we all know some of those people. And this is for a Christmas queen. So I had the idea to do a tumbler that says Christmas Queen and it's just all things Christmas. So we have just kind of swirls and a Christmas tree. Just so much fun. I thought this was so beautiful and I even put a little crown on the straw. Like, could you, I just can't. I can't with the, it's just so cute. Um, I did a little mistletoe on the bottom as well. So this is my salty glitter from the Beach Collection. I went with a white and teal and silver instead of your typical red and green uh, Christmas. I just thought it would be nice to do something a little more elegant since it's a Christmas queen. So if you guys know anybody that is a Christmas queen, I think she might need a tumbler like this in her life. So let's get into the tutorial, but also I am doing a giveaway in today's video. So I am giving away a full signature Christmas collection of glitter, which is one of all the 13 colors in the collection. Um, all you have to do to enter is subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell, comment on this video, and then also join my Facebook group. It's just glazed epoxy. I will have everything linked down below and all the information. Thank you so much for joining me for the 12 days of Christmas. Also let me know now below, what series I should do next on my channel because I don't know like there's not really holidays coming up till Valentine's and like is that a like can I do enough with that I don't know let me know your thoughts down below on what series I should do next because I would love to know what you think wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year bye guys I found this cup I've never actually found this brand before but I really loved the shape of it and the look of it and I loved that it had a teal little piece on the lid since I wanted to do white and teal for this cup. So taking off the package and the lid, then prepping with Mattify. So then I'm spray painting the same kind of teal shade color I used in yesterday's video, the mint mug. So then once that was dry, I'm taking some of my Artistry Epoxy and spreading just a really thin layer all over the whole cup. So then taking Salty from my Beach Collection and just covering the entire cup with this glitter. And I believe this is the medium cut. Then once that was dry, I'm doing a first layer of the artistry epoxy. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Then doing another layer and I did sand in between just so we have a nice smooth base. So once that was dry I cut out this vinyl that just says Queen in kind of bigger block letters. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss so this is what we're going to use to do the peekaboo. Using some transfer tape to put it on my cup. And 
having a good, good time. And I also cut out this little mistletoe for the bottom. And a Christmas tree with a star on top for the back of the cup. Here we go. All right. Now this Christmas, we're going to dance. We're going to okay. dance, 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 Come on. Dance. We're going to dance, dance, dance. Next, I spray painted white. This is just Rust-Oleum flat white. And I think I did two or three even coats of this. Have a good time. I think Santa's going to come and join us in this song. Hey. Then a good 10, 20 minutes after I spray painted the last coat, I went ahead and took the vinyl off to reveal our beautiful peekaboo. So then my next step was to distress it with some acetone. So I just poured it on a paper towel and then just kind of rubbed, starting with the edges. You just keep rubbing until you kind of see the glitter peeking through and then just keep going till you're happy with how it's looking. So when I do distressing like this, I always like to go all the way around the top edge, the bottom edge, and then also going up through the cup in just a couple spots. I just feel like it adds character, but it's not too much. So then once I was done with that, I just took a little more acetone and some Q-tips and really went in and cleaned it up. The epoxy can kind of look cloudy with the paint residue on there. So you just want to really go and clean that up throughout the whole cup. And you can really see like how much more shiny it gets once I do this. So just go through your entire cup wherever you have the peekaboo or distressing and make sure all of it is looking really nice. So then going on with another layer of artistry epoxy. Then I cut out in a silver vinyl, just the word Christmas, cause this is our Christmas queen. So we had to add Christmas on there. And I just did a more cursive -y font cause I thought it would look really nice with the larger block letters for queen. Then I had these stickers, I had some stars, snowflakes, and these swirly glittery ones. I just really was not sure what I was doing with this cup at this point, but these stickers really saved the day. These are beautiful. I'm pretty sure they're from Michaels, and I'm definitely going to go back and get more and see if they have different colors because these were 
just so much fun to use. They laid completely flat. They look amazing. They just were perfect under the epoxy. So I'm definitely going to look into it, see if they have other designs or other colors or anything or I might even look up this brand online and just buy all of it. These stickers are just that good. We'll be chilling and having a good good time. So just going through and adding these swirls kind of throughout the cup here and there just to add some kind of swirly Christmassy details. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just get better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Then on the Christmas tree, there was little round different sizes on these glitter sheets. And I was like, okay, those are perfect ornaments. So adding those. Here we go. All right. Then I had that sticker jewel stars. So just adding that and it fit absolutely perfect on my little tree. Have a good time. So then adding another layer of epoxy and I'm adding a little bit of filter to this. I just wanted to add a little bit extra sparkle to it. Come and join us in this song. So just taking it off the turner and putting the lid on. And I am so pleased with how this turned out. I think it is just so beautiful, so cute, so Christmassy, but yet just really elegant at the same time. So now let's package it. So I have my cup. I found this really pretty kind of silver and white tissue paper. I found this little cute stocking. It was silver and white. You could always throw like a gift card or a little piece of jewelry in there. Then look at this sign, This Girl Loves Christmas with leopard print. This is from Hobby Lobby. I thought that would be absolutely perfect for this gift. I found this really pretty makeup palette that matches perfectly. And for a final touch, I found these little crowns. How cute are they? I think they're uh, napkin rings from Hobby Lobby also. Then I found this sparkly silver box that I thought would be so perfect. So just doing some tissue paper, then my really pretty silver and white tissue paper. Adding my cup, the makeup palette, little sign, the little stocking, the little crown, and I just added a little piece of tape so it stayed put. And that is it. I just think it's such a pretty little gift. Thank you guys so much for watching my 12 days of Christmas. I'll see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas. Bye guys. <laughs>